The final product for the ongoing sale of fighter jets is shortlisted by Malaysia. The choice is now on the verge. The two nations have agreed upon the Malaysian Air Force aircraft tenders. The Malaysian government is currently evaluating the final bids from both nations so that it may make the best decisions. We will discuss each of the offerings from both countries in the video. About South Korea's FA-50 fighter jet. A family of South Korean supersonic advanced jet trainer and light combat aircraft, known as the Kai-T-50 Golden Eagle, was developed by Korean Aerospace Industry in collaboration with the United States Lockheed Martin Company. Its first flight took in 2002, and it joined the Republic of Korea's Air Force in 2005. T-50B, TA-50, and FA-50 are the aerobatic and combat versions of the T-50 that have been further developed. Since 2001, it has produced 200 aircraft, which are now being used by the air forces of three different nations, Iraq, Indonesia, and the Philippines. Additionally, Thailand had placed an order for 12 aircraft, Colombia for 20, and Poland for 48. This aircraft will reportedly be compared to the F-16 aircraft, and pilots who have trained on it will have no difficulty flying the F-A-50 aircraft. About India's HAL built Tejas Mark I. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited created the Tejas, a single-engine, delta-wing, light multi-role fighter for the Indian Air Force and Navy. Tejas is currently a member of the India Air Force's No. 45 Squadron, which will by 2025 replace its entire inventory of outdated MiG-21 aircraft. Indian HAL has extensive experience producing aeroplanes and has produced numerous aircraft systems in partnership with numerous nations. HAL currently develops helicopters, fighter jets, trainer planes, and commercial planes in addition to maintaining larger defense planes like the Russian Sukhoi and other planes in its platform. Now that the Philippines has become a customer for its helicopters and weaponry, India's HAL is hunting for a foreign buyer for its Tejas aircraft. Additionally being promoted to Mark II status, this aircraft will have some extremely cutting-edge characteristics, making it a 4.5-generation fighter jet. HAL is offering MRO facility, aviation management courses, and promote regional manufacturing. Additionally, it will provide maintenance and upgrades for the Russian Su-30 MKM and Hawk aircraft owned by Malaysia. The Indian BVR missiles, which are similar to the all-weather Astra missiles, are favoring HAL in the Malaysian selection. Additionally, the Royal Malaysian Air Force may receive BrahMos missiles as a result of the Tejas agreement. HAL has also offered to support the RMAF in upgrading their Hawk fleet. Other HAL platforms like HTT-40 Basic Trainer, Dornier 228 Light Maritime Reconnaissance Aircraft, Drove Advanced Light Helicopter and the Light Combat Helicopter have the potential to be inducted by RMAF. And further, it will upgrade the aircraft for AMCA and Teja's MARK-2 program in future. As part of its proposal to win the fighter lead in trainer light combat aircraft, contract from the Royal Malaysian Air Force Korea Aerospace Industries also offered to construct a final assembly facility for the FA-50 Block 20 light fighter at Kuantan. The facility's construction will cost $127.7 million. Depending on Malaysia's decision and the outcomes of Kai's on-site investigation, one or two final assembly lines will produce a maximum combined output of two aircraft every three to six months. Additionally, with the permission, it will provide weaponry approved for use with AM-65 Maverick, GBU, Joint Direct Attack Munitions, and many other weapons systems and avionics in line with the most recent advancements in fighter aircraft technology. The program mandates the purchase of supersonic light fighter aircraft with aerial refueling, beyond visual range, BVR, combat capability, and at least 30% Malaysian-made componentry. Additionally, it mandates that the manufacturer begin deliveries within 36 months of contract signing. RMAF has the budget of $900 million for 18 fighters, or $50 million per fighter. 
both are offering at same price range aircraft. The government must now choose the best aircraft for its fleet of defense aircraft. Which one should Malaysia consider when buying a new fighter plane, in your opinion? Let us know in the comment section.